Can you be shopping for makeup in the, in the detergent aisle in ShopRite? <laughs> that makes a household name? Give it up for the Cape Crusader himself. The one and only youngster, CPT! By the way, Pops, I actually have three SAE Pop Awards, two Slicker On Life Awards, two Simon nominations under this belt of mine. All I need now is one round with Nadia Nakai to be in the major leagues. Guys, you're taking me for a p all night. <laughs> that. Now, people often compare Nadia to Meg the Stallion. And that's not based on her rapping abilities, actually, funnily enough. That's because she looks like a horse. <laughs> you know that's a lie. <laughs> you know that's a lie. <laughs> you know that's a lie. <laughs> Nadia has dated so many rappers over the span of her career. Just ask for a feature. You don't have to f*** them. <laughs> God forbid they decide to do a compilation album. <laughs> it's gonna be called Nadia's Greatest Hits, bro. <laughs> Don Flismas. <laughs> D.A. <laughs> I come from Cape Town. He's not in habit that place. But don't forget, that's the headquarters of the colored men. So you come there, we scope you in your <laughs> Now, one thing about John that you don't know is that John is an atheist. And that means John don't believe in God. Nah. As you can see, God don't believe in him either, bro. <laughs> when God looks at John Flismas, he says, Sis, your fail stuck. You haram, John. There's nothing but farkens fly over there. Now, we also have a Hindu on the panel, and that's nice. And as you know, Hindu people believe cows are sacred. So at any moment, Devi is going to get on her knees and start praying to Celeste. <laughs> but wait. I mean, let's just think about this here. Devi is actually a lani. Legend, me, bro. I mean, David took down the Guptas. Don't clap. Sometimes it'll be your own people that catch on. <laughs> Devi is living the Indian Tani's dream, you know? She made a career out of snitching and scunnery. <laughs> Devi, you know what my problem is with you? Last time. You last You're always in men's business. <laughs> always. You have that, you have that brown tiny energy. Just before you're gonna moor me, you're gonna say, this is gonna hurt you more than it's gonna hurt me. <laughs> Sal Beyonce is also here for some reason. <laughs> nah, hey, look here. Back, yeah. You are way more well known than I am in this my you know. And let's not forget that you are part of the LGBT plus size community. <laughs> That's XXL. <laughs> Sal Beyonce is also a big fan of netball. Yes, that's true. That's true. I mean, it's quite funny to me because if you lift up that dress, that's what you see. As netball. Please, please, contain yourselves. <laughs> you know, Kanye is the only person I know that goes to surgery and looks uglier when she comes back. Oh. It's like she went with a picture to the surgeon and said, just make me look in my please. <laughs> Kanye is like Mandela's dream child because she's been every shade of the rainbow that you ever know. 
Canyons a list of perfect examples of what you ordered versus what you got. <laughs> On the one hand, we have Kanye. This is Woolies here, bro. Not the reduced Woolies. This is the full price Woolies. And then we got Celeste, you know, that's it's like a Cambridge. <laughs> like a cash and carry, like a boxer, you know, like boxer, bro. Like that, like that, like that, you know. And it's quite funny because Celeste also loves boxing. That's the only time she get the rounds, though. <laughs> you liar! But once again, none of this this evening would have been possible without Kanye Mbao. I don't even know why she agreed to put me on the stage, maybe, no? And look at her style, goddammit. It's outstanding. Almost the same color as that chair. Can you be shopping for makeup in the, in the detergent aisle in ShopRite? <laughs> that makes her a household name? <laughs> you get Jig, you get Venice, but she's just that 1% of germs that won't disappear, bro. <laughs> Mr. Man, I'll say for Mr. Man, I guess Man has spun, bro. Sikes. From what I've seen on social media, you've taken a lot of over your career. And people have been with you for a long time. But you stayed strong in the face of adversity. And you rose above all the You slayed, you remained a queen, and you did it fabulously. So I want to let you know that you are always welcome to Nick Carbstack. Salute us.